Have you always loved the look of those bubble skirts but didn't quite know how to pattern it for yourself? Well today, that's what we're going to do. We are going to pattern a half scale bubble skirt. Hi, I'm Christina and I love to digitally apparel pattern, creating unique pieces of wearable art. And I'm super excited to get drafting today. If you're interested in following along, you can definitely find a link to the pattern below, as well as a link to a free guide of key commands and useful charts in Adobe Illustrator. You'll want to grab those so that you can be bouncing between tools just as fast as I am. So let's get started. I'm going to bring up my Adobe Illustrator and my half scale pattern and get started. So the first thing to know with a bubble skirt is it's actually a double layer skirt. There is a lining layer that is actually what kind of holds that hem up and in to create that bubble effect. And then there's the outer layer. Now the outer layer can either be a half circle or a full circle that then gets gathered in and uh, is longer. So the hem is actually built in to the skirt. It's I'll probably do a two inch. Yeah, I'll probably do a two inch. So it goes down two inches lower and that comes back up and then it will get attached to the bottom of this lining. So I have my half scale skirt pattern all ready to go here and I'm basically just going to use that for the lining. The one thing that I'm probably going to do is instead of having it super, super tight like that, I'm just going to make it a basic A-line skirt for the lining and then we're going to draft the actual bubble part of the skirt. So let's get started on, on this lining. So I have the front and the back and all we're going to do is we're going to get a line going. We're going to draft a 7.5, I'm sure is long enough. There we go. We're going to draft another one there and another one here. Whoops. And one last one there. And the other thing, I am going to go ahead and just eke these out just a little bit. Oh, and I am drafting on two separate layers. I don't know what's going on. So we're going to start a new layer. So we're going to cut that, front that, we're going to lock that layer, and we're going to label this bubble drafting because then we'll also need a bubble skirt final. So now that I have them on a single layer, I'm going to cut these apart and swing these darts closed and get a little bit more room down below. And cut. And then, I don't really need to have two of those, so we're going to just close it. Boop. And then we're gonna do another one. Cut. Cut, V, and then we're going to grab it and we're going to rotate it. Not like that. Apparently I did not cut, cut the wrong line. There we go. Now it's only highlighted. Yes. And then we're going to rotate. Do maybe. Oh. <laughs> so when you do something like that, it's because you're actually on the wrong tool. I was on the direct select instead of the select all. It causes problems. So there's the front nice and fast. We're going to do the back the same way. So we're going to cut that apart. We're going to grab everything that we need. We're going to rotate it on that point to close up that dart. And then we're going to do the same thing. Cut it open. Whoops, missed the intersect. And, oh, come on, don't float on me. 
Sometimes my mouse has a life of its own. And then we're gonna rotate, boop, boop, boop. Well, I did not actually cut that bottom one. So let's try this one more time. Let's see here, cut. There we go. Apparently those second cuts tonight we're not having it at all. There we go. So that's going to be my lining layer. So I'm not going to worry about actually tracing that out because I'm going to do that after I actually make the uh, top layer of the bubble skirt. So I think I'm just going to go for it and go a little crazy and do a full circle bubble skirt. But the other thing that I want to do is I do want to have a little bit of gathering up at the top. I don't think I quite want it double. Yeah, I don't think I quite want it double. I think I want it like one and a half times. So I know my um, waist is 13 and a half inches. Grab out my calculator times two, it's 27. So now we're going to draft a circle that is 27. So we need 27 um, divided by 3.14 is 8.59. So that means we're going to draft a rectangle that is 8.59 by 8.59 and bring it in. And I always like to double check my math. So I always like to see. So we got 26.99, close enough. So that is going to be our inner circle. Now the length of this, I believe is about seven and a half. And I wanna have it, I want to have the bubble hit probably two inches below this. So let's see here. Did I remember? 7.66, so close enough. And I want the bubble to hit about two inches below that. And then it also has to then go back up two inches. So instead of seven and a half, we're gonna add four and get to 11 and a half. So then what we're going to do is we want to add plus 11.5 plus 11.5. So we want, wow, that seems really big, but we're gonna find out. <laughs> so we're gonna draft a, another circle at 31.59, 31.59. I mean, circle skirts, they be crazy, man especially when you're doing like a double circle skirt. Well, it's not double. It's a, uh, it's a one and a half times circle skirt. But there we go. Then we can double check this length. We'll find that point right there. Go down 11 and a half. We got it. That's what it is. So, I'm actually going to delete that line and we're going to draft another line that's going through the center and another one that's going through the center. And then we're gonna make sure that they all align beautifully and I'm not slightly off. Those were not the right buttons. There we go. <laughs> then, the question is, how do I actually want to have this printed out? So I can print it out in a, as a full circle or I can print it out as a half circle or I can even print it out just as a quarter circle. Um, to use less paper, I think I'm gonna just go with the quarter circle and cut stuff on the half. So we're gonna start by cutting apart the parts that we don't need. And we want this guy. We're gonna cut him there and there. 
And then we're going to cut this guy at that point and at that point. And then we should have gotten everything. Yep. And that can go away. That can go away. We have our circle. We're going to now rejoin all those bits nice and fast. Whoops. Don't double hit enter. Problems happen. <laughs> And that's our, don't do that. Get the right tool. There we go. Right tool makes everything much better. So there we have, that is the over bubble skirt. So we're going to do a quick labeling. Of this. bubble over skirt cut one on the fold cut two for the center back There we go. Um, and since I didn't actually need to trace anything, now I need to go back and trace this guy. So we're going to just add another layer, lock this original layer, and we'll have to come back to it because our circle skirt is on that layer. So we'll have to move that to the new layer. But while we are waiting, we're just going to quickly drag and pull so that it's nicely lining up with all of those. Hello. So this, we're going to switch those so that I can see what we are doing. And pop that. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Nice and rounded. There we go. And the other side, click, 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 click and pull. Click, click. And there we have it. That's going to be our bubble skirt. So we're going to now grab this, copy it front, lock that layer, and then we're going to finish labeling this guy. It's always good to label your patterns so that you don't accidentally forget what you're doing or you and you always know what pattern piece is what. Back cut two and then we're going to change that to front cut one on the fold twist it Make sure it's looking good. There we go. And that's how quick and easy you can get a bubble skirt drafted. Now, I am super excited to put this one together and see how it comes out on my little half scale girl. So make sure to check back soon to see how this bubble skirt actually goes together. And remember, if you're interested in learning how to digitally apparel pattern, make sure to grab those key commands so that you can start maneuvering between those tools much faster and super, and it'll help just get you into the jive of patterning in Illustrator. And I look forward to seeing you in some of my other videos. Happy patterning!